Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. The friendly neighborhood drug dealer. His stubble on the nape of your neck. <coughs> Yo, oh, bro, man. What's man? up? What's How up, you man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. What the fuck? Jimmy. Just just hold on a second. Oh, all right. All right, later on. Man. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, gay guys keep in shape at least. Well, most of them do. But wives? All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Powerful bear who loves his honey. Okay, okay, let's go over here to line five. Please speak some sense. Hi. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine, give it here. It's no wonder politics sucks. The choice is between you, who give women a bad name, and the guy whose qualification for office is that he's great at jumping off of a train wreck. We all know. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square? Who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not Chill normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified. <laughs> you should see yourself. Everything's like, I gotta pull over. Oh, who is in it? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You I'm fucking shit? You you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? You're too crazy, Dad. Get
Jimmy, you little shit. and dies. You have killed that turtle. That's the wrong message you're sending. Don't set things free that are going to kill other things. You are attacking the world in the wrong way. Yes, you are. That's not the way to live. That is not the message to send. Like a python that's too big for your house and you set it loose Michael, I think you've finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. <laughs> 